Welcome back. We are ready to rock for the second quarter between the Roos and the Blues. At the moment, it's all the Roos up by 21 as the ball goes up. Flying for the ball for the Roos was right. Gets a good tap. The Blues have given, a, in fact, the umpire pointed one way and then pointed the other. <laughs> we'll have to just wait and see which way he's going to point here. He pointed the way of the Blues. So the Blues will take a free kick. That's Ashley Grant. She looks downfield. There's not a lot of tall marking options for her, so she just bangs it on the boot. Ruse will get back in numbers. That's Amaral. She's been tackled with the footy. This is back a little bit of her own medicine, but she's hung on for a little bit too long, and the Blues now with an opportunity for a shot on goal. It looks like Renee Tong will take the free kick here. She was just held on to for a little bit too long. Interesting, I think she'll probably pop it up to the top of the square, hoping for a flyer. She does that, and what a good mark taken by the Blues flyer. That was Sherelle Kelly-Witt, and a great opportunity for the Blues' first goal, perhaps. Kelly-Witt did well there. She was further up the ground. She dropped forward just to add an extra target, and it's about time. She's done the old Matthew Lloyd toss-up of the, uh, the grass there, and she's going to go back and have a shot. Distance shouldn't be a worry. Uh, she should give herself enough space to go over the lady on the mark. That is a great-looking kick. I think it's just drifted left, though. Definitely had no worries with the distance, but uh, unfortunately sprayed it. Minor score for the Blues. Tell you what, perhaps I used to love it when Matty Lloyd would throw the grass up in the air when he was indoors and the roof was shut. He'd Seriously. do it at Eddie Had. <laughs> he would do it at the indoor stadium, and it was I think it was just part of his gimmick. One of the, his pants pulled up to his uh, his pecs, <laughs> and he'd have the windy, uh, windy bomber grass flying around. Anyway, back to the uh, AFL Ontario <laughs> women's game. Free kick played here. Uh, Ruse seemed to have come out a little undisciplined here as uh, Terry will give the ball back here. Give it back to... Uh, I don't think she really wants it. She's looking at the umpire like, I don't know, don't know what to do with it, but going to go forward again, do the blue. So starting well, Torp. have central. Kicks the left-right foot banana, backwards spinny top. Goes inside, <laughs> forward 50, spinning around the ruse, getting out of danger here. They do well through Amaral, and they're out, but the blue's in front of it again. They have another punt. Going forward, McNabb running back. It's rolling. It's hit the post. Oh. Unfortunate. Perhaps I'll tell you what, what an impressive start this is to the second quarter by the Blues. Mm. This is exactly what they needed to do. Even though they were sort of blown away a little bit in the first quarter, they're only three and a half goals down. So if they can get some goals, they could be back in the contest. Big kick comes out. That went almost 50 metres. What a kick that was. The uh, Roos and the Blues battling for the ball on the 50 metre line. And the umpire says, I'll have it. Very good. So, yeah, but I think... Uh Quarter time, coach gave him a bit of uh, MJ secret stuff and got him up and about as the umpire balls it up just inside the centre field as Rankin pulls that down perfectly roved, going forward to the advantage of Trevine, drops the chest mark, gets outdone and picked up by the number one for the Blues, goes down, Trevine gets it off to Chrissy Trice, Trice puts it through for a goal, she's happy with that and the Roos are up and about again, well done to Etobico there. Outstanding stuff from Trice, she just got herself in the perfect position to receive the handball and she went bang and made no mistake. And you just feel that even though the Blues have had the early running, that is a hammer blow if it goes back the other way and the Roos score the first goal of the quarter. Absolutely. That's uh, disappointing for the Blues. They had all the momentum to start this quarter. They went inside. They had two shots and goal and unfortunately missed. Uh, but this time uh, the Roos went back and straight away just punished them out of that attack. And uh, I'll tell you what, with this heat out there, you can see this young lady here just trying to shield the eyes a bit. It is stinking hot down here today, Jane. Mack. Very steamy indeed. Maddie Amaral doesn't mind the heat. She gets the footy and goes straight down again into the Ruse forward line. Janessa Reloader battling for the ball. She bangs it on the boot. Blues have got numbers, but they can't take the grab. Ruse are swarming back towards the goal. They are all getting hungry. Maybe they can all get a goal next to their name. Oh, what a good tackle. That was strong tackle holding the ball. That was Ashley Grant who laid the tackle. She's put her arms up, but you've won the free kick, Ashley. It's yours. <laughs> unfortunately. Well, good, very good tackle. Very hard to bring Hales Trevine down. She's very strong, and uh, unfortunately, they just couldn't get the arm free to get the hand pass out in time. As Tong goes forward now for the Blues, but it's chopped off by the young lady in 19 there. That's uh, Nara and David. As David goes forward, it's in the middle of the ground now. Amaral competing there. It could actually be Van Der Beek. She's playing centre-half forward for the Roos today. Going along. Contest in the middle here. Scrappy Rankin gets in deep there. Gets brought to ground by Ashley Grant. Bit of a tackle off the ball, but umpire says, give me the pill, and he's going to throw it up here. I thought maybe Rankin could have got a free there for holding on, but I think the umpire maybe had already blown his whistle for a ball up. 
Dangerous position here for the Ruse. Can they have a quick snap at goal? Rankin flying through the pack. What a good pick up that was. She looks to the hot spot. The top of the square. Mark can't be taken by Trice. Gets back on the footy and gets hold of the hand. Hand pass to a friend but can't quite find the body. Blues now looking to knock it out of the danger zone. They need a quick kick to clear the danger. Although the Ruse have got it. Back to the Blues. Back to the Ruse. Back to the Blues. <laughs> Who's got it, Paps? I'm not sure. Looks like Tong now for the Blues. Now they should be able to stream across halfback. Grant clears it out for the Blues, doing a well, good job there uh, with the wrapping career, mate. Good job <laughs> as they go along now. Middle of the ground, a bit of a contested plate. Wit's been good. Good tackle there, wrapped up well by uh, Terry Waskow as they'll go forward. But uh, Ruse's numbers again just get back in time. Amaral looked like she threw it out there, but on the umpire's blind side, she got away with it. But she collects it up, and what's umpire called here? Didn't see it come out the back. Doesn't like to move towards the play too much, the umpire here, so he's finding a lot of blind sides, but that's okay. There's a ball up just outside the 50 for the Blues. Rucking work uh, assigned to Shillane right for the Ruse. Tap down and out the back again. Amaral will clear it for the Ruse. Middle of the ground. Lockney. She's been pretty quiet for her own standards. Gets it along the ground. Her Gaelic football background will help her here. She's got players everywhere and they've called it out of bounds. Yeah. I think uh, the Blues runner was very quick to let the umpire know that it was out of bounds. That's good teamwork from her, although she's not the boundary umpire. Maybe she should have let the umpire make the decision. Not to worry. Play goes on. She's battling again for the ball. Lockname, but can't get hold of it. Laying a strong tackle there was right. Ball out the back now. The Blues can go forward, but it's the Ruse with numbers. Selena Amaral picks up. Will she use the left boot? She comes back around on the right foot. Finds a player in the middle. Can't quite take the grab there. I'm not sure who that was, perhaps. I might have to check that one. Big kick down forward. What a good strong mark that was on the lead. That's Trevine. Will she look to play on? She does, but thinks better of it. Do you think she can make the distance from there, perhaps? Um, I reckon she could probably get it right to the goal line. I don't know if it's going to go right through, but uh, you know what? I'll back her in because I've seen her kick the ball before. She has got a mighty boot. I think she's going to prove me wrong here. She goes long, gets it almost there, but Mark is taken by Lockdown. and easy as you like on the chest. And she's got a bit of an awkward angle here, but again, I'll probably back her in to kick this as well. Yeah, a little bit of a difficult angle, maybe 45 degrees. Although she's very, very close. She could either run around on the banana or kick a drop punt. She goes with a drop punt and she's put it straight through the middle. So another goal to the Ruse as they extend this big lead now, Paps. 5-3-33 to 0 two, 2 straight points and the Ruse are just putting on. It's not as bad as it has been in the last two games between these two sides for the Blues. Uh, I know by half time the Ruse had, had put away a pretty solid lead. This is a solid lead, but... Uh, Let's hope that the Blues can at least get a goal on the board before half time, just to give them a bit of hope. There's still about four or five minutes left in this half uh, for them to do so. But uh, Lochnane really starting to put her foot down. Had a quiet first quarter, uh, but the second I mentioned that, she's gone absolutely bananas uh, <laughs> and had the ball about 40 times in this quarter. Yeah, so often the way with the really high quality players, you can't keep them down for long. And eventually you expect that these ruse high quality international standard women will come out on top as they are starting to do now here come the ruse going forward once again battling for the ball there what a good piece of play that was by the blues player Ooh. coming through i believe it was mccauley another big contest in the middle the umpires pulled out a free kick this will go the way of the blues perhaps i i thought maybe the ruse could have got a free kick there not to be don't know if i agree with that call uh, it was, looked like holding the ball to me uh, wasn't a, anything in the back there but uh, umpires call is right i guess and it's a free kick to the blues unless he's pointing the wrong way take another look at it here so she had possession someone came up behind her and she threw the ball out I, I don't understand why that's a free kick to the Blues I but think, I think the free was for she dumped her after she got rid of it possibly maybe maybe yeah, <laughs> maybe well, well anyway play goes on as we go outside Vicky Barron's got it here she stumbles with it gets the hand pass away though falls to ground can I think picked up yet yeah, scrappy game in the middle here just can't quite get it out Trevian does before the umpire blows his whistle Blues have got it now good tackle by uh Barron and they go forward through Reloto, I should say. Good mark by the Blues and it's taken on the chest by Katrina McCowley. She's playing an important role across half-back McCowley. That's a couple of grabs already this quarter. 
They're going to need her at her best if they're going to stem the flow of goal. She goes out wide for a team out. It was a perfect kick, but she couldn't take the mark. I believe that was Ashley Grant. She gives out the handball out the back. That's Powley. Powley Ooh. looking to soccer and looks as though that was a high tackle. Tell you what, the arm was up before the whistle went. <laughs> she definitely made sure the umpire knew it was a high tackle. She bangs it forward. Big pack of players milling, but the best player in the pack. It's Lochne and comes down with a grab. Running back is Janessa Reloader. She calls for it. Will she get it? Although it looks as though Jewhurst... Is it Johannes? No, apologies. It's Jeffrey. Emily Jeffrey has taken the mark, and she'll go back from directly in front, 10 metres out. You'd back her to kick it through the middle. Absolutely. No, she's a strong pair of hands down there. Does take the mark on the chest. And I'll tell you what, the Roos have got weapons everywhere. Just cycling them through. One minute it's Dewhurst, next minute it's Trevian. They've got players coming through. We'll take another look at the mark here as Lochname puts it into the 50. And uh, going down there, good contested mark. She had the defender right on her, but she took the mark anyway. Right on the chest and she'll go back for the Roos' sixth goal attempt, which she's actually missed, I believe, while we're showing that replay. And uh, just a minor score. So ball back in contested possession. Umpire blows his whistle, says he'll have it. We just see once again that flood of players. Look at how many Blues players and Roos players are around the footy. Almost three quarters of the players on the ground. Could be a scrappy one this one as the ball goes to ground. Roos are there first, but Blues recover. Still the ball on the ground. Very scrappy. Now the Blues with numbers out the back. Quick kick comes out, but it will be all Lochnane. She gets the ball, dodges inside out. Kicks to the hot spot, the top of the square. Can't be taken by a Roos player. Blues are just hanging on by the skin of their teeth here. And the Roos have got themselves a free kick, possibly a high tackle, perhaps. I think this is, uh, yep, Van Der Beek. I think she got caught a little bit high, and she's got a good little pose here. Now, I'm trying to think of a, an AFL player back home who starts with the foot out like that. There's a couple of blokes that like that approach, and she's got the same one. Good long-looking kick. Was it touched? I think they're claiming it was, and it is. Minor score. So, good-looking kick, just unfortunately was touched right on the line. Yeah, it was very important. Uh, one of those little one percenters in footy, you've got to always make sure you have one of your tallest players on the line to get a hand on it as we take a quick look at the shot at goal. Just well done there on the line by the Blues player to make sure she got a hand on it. And in Aussie rules, if it's touched, it is not a goal. So, uh, Sorry, mate. Trevine took a great mark there just to have shown the replay of running with a fly of the ball on the chest. And umpire has paid another free kick here. So losing a little composure back here are the Blues. And it's free kick down there. To, uh, looks like, is that Dewhurst again? Or I think that might be Jeffrey again. They've got a very similar build, these two young ladies. Same colour hair. Jeffrey goes back to Lognane. Probably a smart move. Lognane now goes back inside looking for a player down there. That might be Reloader. Reloader does well. Goes to ground. And it's going to be a ball up right inside the front right pocket for the Roos. So the Blues are just hanging on for the time being. You feel if they can get a quick kick out of the pack, they'll be in trouble because the Kangaroos players have formed a really great wall across the fence. There's a lot of numbers. Although, look at her powering through the middle. That was Lochnane. In the end, she probably could have done better. I thought she could have kicked the goal there, perhaps. Yes, that's, uh, again, not very unchar uh, sorry, uncharacteristic for Erin. She uh, normally puts those through. I think she actually missed the lot. It'll be a ball up here. It's not a bad result, actually, for the Roos. I might have another shot here. But, yeah, very, very unlikely that she'll miss those. It's tapped down now by the Roos. Onto the boot. Here they go. I think that might have been Amaral minus score. So they're peppering the goals now. So the Blues are just battling still. And it will be the number seven, Katrina McCauley. Let's take a look at the quick snap out of the pack. Didn't quite go through, so just registering a minor score. As we are back live, a big kick to the middle of the ground. Looked as though that may have been a push in the back. Renee Tong got away with a quick handball up. Here comes Vanessa Alti, bangs it forward. There's a spare Blues player. She couldn't take the mark. Ruse come back in numbers now to try and force a contest, and they do. Although the ball's still in possession, and now a high tackle. And it will go the way of the Blues. Unfortunately, we have an injury on the side wing that is closest to camera. We, there she is on screen. We might just need to it's Jeffrey. check and see who it is. I think you might be right, perhaps. Looks as though Jeffrey, she's gone down holding her leg, and she's not in a good way. So our thoughts are with her for the time being, perhaps. Let's take another look here at uh, what could have happened. She's running in with a ball, laid a tackle. Seems to be on her left, I'd say, knee. Yeah, knee on knee. That's never a nice feeling. If you bump those ones, the other lady managed to run away scot-free, but that is, a, that is a shocking injury. And hopefully she comes up all right. Ruse run over there. Greg Everett, the coach of the uh, Topico Ruse, run over to make sure she's okay. She's struggling to get up here. I don't know why Rue has run away from her. But uh, they're just working it out now. Yeah, it looks fairly innocuous, actually. Maybe 
Just a bit of bone on bone contact. Yep. Maybe the outside of the knees clashed. Yep. I, um, I must tell you, perhaps, I was playing a game of cricket a couple of weeks ago. Mm. And a young man was running between the wickets and accidentally run into someone and, and did a dislocated kneecap Ooh. by banging his knee with someone else. My fingers are crossed that's not the case, but um, it's so funny how the little innocuous ones are always, quite often, where we see injuries. Now she's actually grabbing the shin on the outside of where she went. She went into the contest on her left side, but she's actually hurting on her right knee. So it could have been when she planted her left foot and went back onto her right. She's had a bit of a twist in her knee. I know how she feels. I did a training a couple of nights ago where I had that, that unfortunate crunch. Uh, it's one of those things where for the first maybe five, 10 seconds, it's absolutely excruciating and then it's not too bad after it, but it's, uh, it's a sneaky little injury and hopefully she's not too worse off. I think Rue's uh, brought out the stretcher here. He's got something to bring her off with. It's, uh, I don't think I've ever seen this in Ontario AFL before. No, I don't think so. So we're going to quickly run to a break. Uh, we'll be back right after this to continue the Etobicoke Roos versus uh, Central Blues clash.